Hey, my name is Michael and I wear skirts. This is Mikael. He is a non-binary person from southern Sweden known for wearing skirts and dresses. My whole life I have known that something wasn't quite right with me. I didn't know what, but uh, I knew uh, from an early age uh, that I would like to dress in my mother's clothes. Nowadays I uh, ident identify myself as a non-binary non uh, trans person. Sometimes I only uh, identify myself as a norm critic or a person who, who is really, really uh, yes, challenging the norms and uh, try to find myself in a society where, where I don't exist. Because when I see other people in dresses, they don't look like me. So uh, sometimes I feel more like a trans person, sometimes I don't feel like a trans person at all. So uh, non-binary is quite a good concept for me because that's where I find myself to be more most comfortable. But it took them quite some time to figure this out. In this next segment, Mikkel is going to talk about suicide. So if you don't want to hear that, skip forward a minute and a half. Since I was a young child to uh, when I was in my teens, to my was in my twenties and thirties, I have been growing this feeling of uh, not be able to uh, be the man or sooner the, the, the dad I want. I have been in the closet for, for 30 years, I say, and uh, that's where I, I started noticing how, how well I feel when I am in my own clothes. But I didn't really want to uh, go any further. I didn't want to come out. I didn't want anyone to know. So my thought was to take uh, the secret with me in the grave. One day I had come to that point where I it was no longer only thoughts about suicide, uh, but it was real. Uh, I was going to do it. And uh, at that time I had two children, and, but I couldn't see a future and I wouldn't tell it to anyone. It became too real to leave my children behind. In a close encounter with death, I say I, I, I really wanted to be there for my children. So I start think about maybe if I, it's better they have a dad who dress different than a dad that doesn't exist. That became the way out, as you say. But the real turning point came when they told their mother. I told my mother that I was a transvestite because that was, I, I only knew two ways to be a trans. That was all I knew. And this is only six years ago. I only knew how to be a transvestite or a transsexual. I, I always know I'm, I'm not a transsexual because that's, that's out, of, out of the question. I, I know I'm not a woman and, and I know I'm not a girl inside. So I, I've always known that. Then I had to be a transvestite, I thought. But Mikkel's view of his own identity changed as they learned more and more about being trans. I start meeting uh, non-binary people at Prides. Uh, I start uh, exploring myself, that was um, only a few months after I came out and I start to realize that uh, I wasn't a transvestite. That I realized very soon. As soon as I, you know, put on a wig or uh, lots of makeup, I realized I didn't, that's not me. So I lost myself. I became a different person. And I wanted to be Mikael. I wanted to be myself. This wasn't me when I was a transvestite. So it was a revelation when I actually could find out that I could be me and still wear a dress because I have never seen that before. But even if he's found an identity that they feel comfortable in, life isn't always easy. This six year travel I'm started and I'm still on, it's a roller coaster. And you know, sometimes I just want to do the things I've done when I was in the closet for 30 years, just throw away the clo uh, clothes, be that man that everybody uh, in society wants me to be because it's so much easier. It's uh, social accepted and uh, you can be uh, Mikael and uh, get away with stuff. You can't be Mikael in a dress and get away with the same stuff because that's the whole idea of the, the society and the, the pat... You can, can't say that in English, but <laughs> the patria, patria... yeah. Mikkel runs an Instagram account called Mikkel in Skirt where he posts pictures of himself wearing dresses and skirts. It started like an idea that uh, just seeing a man in a dress or in a skirt uh, would make it easier for others. But then it started to be interesting for my, myself also. 
because I could see that uh, there was a lot who accepted this, mostly women, of course. It was a kind of a self-boosting thing from, from the start because they saw me in a dress and I thought no one could see me in a dress. So that was the start of it. Then it started to be, became more like start to find others who is like me, try to uh, show the society that we exist, show myself that, that I could exist, be there in an openly way. But this isn't always easy either. Sometimes I just want to throw it away because sometimes it gets too tough to handle. There are, there are times when I don't want to do it anymore. But there is always a downside to, to uh, don't think about it anymore because then I start losing myself also. So it, it, it has been a part of me, my Instagram account. I don't know how to, uh, to express it more clear than that. They're trying to provide an image of a person like himself, which is something that he would have wanted when they were a kid. I didn't realize that I could, could help others, but I would really like to have that person when I was 15 or when I was 20 or maybe even when I was younger. Oh, you can see that I am a man, I have a beard, there is no doubt about it, this is a biological man wearing dresses. I would like to see that and not the kind where it's always, you know, in poses and sexual stuff because that was a real problem for me. When I was in 20s and start uh, looking out, what is trans, what is it to be trans, it always ended up, you know, with pictures of a man standing on in the, at walls and stuff and uh, posing like there was sexy beast in the stockings and stuff, and I, and I really hated that. That really got to me because I thought, that couldn't be me, that's not me. So I would like to have that, you know, ordinary look on a man wearing a dress. And there is another issue that Mikkel wants to talk about. My biggest issue right now is that sometimes I, I don't feel like I'm trans enough. Th that's a pressure that I put on myself also. You know, this is Mikkel in skirt. Uh, you have to always, when you're go going out there, you need to wear a dress or a skirt and you always have to do that. So. When I'm get, getting out there in a, a pair of jeans or a, in a t-shirt, it's like I'm betraying myself. And that's a really interesting point. It's because it's like I'm, I'm not betraying myself, I'm betraying all the people who follow me and all the people who uh, is there sharing for me when I wear a dress. And that has been, been, been a real big problem also, because that's when I, when I really is down and I don't want to get out there because I know I will prov provoke people, they will be angry at me. Sometimes it feels like when I do that and I, you, you can say I take the easy way out, then uh, I really start to feel worse inside also. So it's become like a layer on a layer problem that I didn't have had expected from the start. Because I thought that I could use a dress sometimes like girls and women do too, and uh, pants sometimes, but I didn't thought that uh, it could be so much uh, trouble to, to accept myself in the, the old clothes. You know, uh, when I go out in, uh, that is really the biggest issue now, when I'm out in pants in t-shirts. That's the big problem for me now. And finally, listen to Mikkel's dream of what he wants the society to look like. My dream is a society where you can express yourself, where you don't have to be in a place where it's always boys and girls. I think uh, that both boys and girls have a lot more in common and are more, more uh, able to accept and be free in, their, in themselves if there aren't, aren't just boys and girls. But if there are children, like there are children and uh, I can't believe that still is that people get so provoked by that I am wearing a dress and other guys are wearing dresses. I really hope that we soon will have a world where everyone feel free to express themselves and, and dress in whatever way they want, no matter what gender they were assigned at birth.